Hi everyone, welcome to Inside and Out Yoga and Meditation, where every day we help you reach your highest potential inside and out. I'm Emily and I'm your yoga instructor. Today we have a simple practice that's going to help us metaphorically reach out, connect to others, connect to our breath. It's really nice. Let's get started. All right, everyone, arrive at whatever comfortable seat serves you. I'm actually sitting on a block on my shins if you'd like to join me there, or you could just simply sit cross-legged or on your shins without a block, on a pillow, whatever you choose. Whenever you arrive, just let your hands find your thighs and bring your eyes to a close. Begin to deepen the breath and just arrive on your mat. We're gonna be looking at connection today. And normally, we are looking at our internal selves and how we can better deal with external things, circumstances, people, what have you. But we're actually going to be doing the opposite today. We're going to work from the outside in. So if you would, right now, call upon a person whom you love very much. It could even be a pet. Someone or something that you have a deep connection with, that you can be unapologetically yourself with. A relationship that is just filled with love. And as you bring that person to mind, maybe you find a warmth in your chest. Maybe you laugh a little bit. We can call upon this connection in times of loneliness, in times of ungroundedness things to bring us back to ourselves. Even something like this, this deep connection can bring us back to ourselves. Working on better, bettering opening up our hearts, a whole, a whole line of things. So coming back to your breath and your person or your animal or your thing, We'll take a nice deep cleansing breath together, inhaling through the nose, and exhale, sighing it out through the mouth. And whenever you're ready, open your eyes and make your way to a, a downward facing dog. Tucking the toes, you can even take a gentle bend in the knees here since it's early in the practice, or bend one knee in the other and pedal it out really raising the hips as high as they'll go, finding stillness before inhaling your right foot to sky, stepping forward for a low lunge, lowering that left knee, untucking the toes, raising the arms to frame the ears for a crescent lunge. On an exhale, bring the arms back down, step back to a plank pose, and lower all the way down to the belly, untucking the toes, drawing the shoulders down, inhaling the chest up, baby cobra, tucking the toes, lifting the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Breathing here, inhaling left foot to sky, stepping forward for a low lunge, lowering that right knee and inhaling the arms up, crescent lunge, drawing that left hip crease back, finding a tall spine here, finding strength and openness in the heart. Exhale, hands come back down to the floor, step the left foot back to a plank pose, bend through the elbows, lower all the way down, Inhale, chest up, baby cobra, and exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward, and take a nice slow walk to the top of your mat. Take as long as you need to get there and fold when you arrive. Take a nice bend in the knees and gently roll up all the way, bringing the arms overhead and cactusing them out to either side with bent elbows letting that go and folding forward back down. Step the right foot back for low lunge, step the left foot to meet it, downward facing dog. Roll forward to a plank pose, lowering all the way once again, inhaling baby cobra, chest open, send the hips up and back on the exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes to sky, step it forward for that low lunge, dropping the left knee, Inhale, arms from the ears, crescent lunge once again. Familiar movements here. Bringing the hands back down to the earth. 
Stepping that left foot up to meet the right, halfway lift, hands on shins, and exhale, fold. Bend the knees, sweep the arms up, and cactus them open, really opening up through that chest. Bend through the knees and fold forward. Left foot steps back this time, right foot steps to meet it, downward facing dog. Roll forward through to a plank pose, lower all the way to the earth, untucking the toes, inhaling baby cobra, tucking the toes and lifting the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg comes to sky. Exhale, step it forward between the palms, you know where we're going, lowering that right knee, inhaling up, crescent lunge. You can take these movements as fast or as slow as you want. No worries to keep up with me. Step the right foot up, halfway lift, spine nice and long, and folding, letting it go. Move through bent knees, sweep the arms up to stand, cactus the arms out through bent elbows, and bend forward and fold. Right foot steps back, low lunge. Left foot steps to meet it, downward facing dog. Roll forward once again to that plank pose. This time, feel free to lower halfway to Chaturanga Dandasana, moving through upward facing dog, and bringing the hips up and back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes to sky, step it forward, low lunge, lowering that left knee. Inhale, crescent lunge. And exhale, fold forward, bringing the hands down. Left foot steps to meet right, halfway lift, and fold. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, cactus the arms to the side, and exhale, let it go, folding forward. Left foot steps back, low lunge. Right foot steps back, downward facing dog, hips nice and high rolling forward to that plank pose. You can stick with lowering all the way here if that's more comfortable than lowering halfway. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra, and exhale, downward facing dog, really pressing through the hands. Inhale, left foot rises, step it forward for low lunge, lowering that right knee. Inhaling, crescent lunge, really leaning into that left right hip flexor if that feels good for you. Inhale, back to low lunge, step the right foot to meet left, halfway lift, and fold. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, exhale to cactus, opening through the heart, and fold forward. Inhale, right foot steps back, left foot steps back, we land in a downward facing dog, breathing here. Really letting the neck go, finding length in the spine. Inhale, right leg comes to sky, Exhale, step it forward between the palms. Left heel spins down, we rise. Warrior one, arms can come to frame the ears, finding a nice long spine. Both hip points facing the top of your mat. Exhale, dive forward, devotional warrior. Arms wing back behind you and sweep the arms all the way up overhead, parallel through your feet, flying warrior. Heels in, toes out, bend through the knees, cactus the arms, goddess pose. Inhale, back up to flying warrior, and opening up the hips, adjusting the feet, coming to peaceful warrior, right toes facing the top of the mat. Cartwheel the hands down, and let it go, moving through your chaturanga, or lowering all the way. This is our vinyasa flow. You can take it or leave it, and I'll meet you in a downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg comes to sky, step it forward between the palms, right heel spins down, we rise, warrior one, bringing the left hip crease back, right hip point forward. On an exhale, sweep the arms back and dive forward to the inside of the left leg, devotional warrior. Sweep the arms all the way up, hands meet overhead, flying warrior, Heels in, toes out, bending through the knees, cactusing the arms, goddess pose. Inhale, back up, flying warrior. And exhale, adjust through the feet, find, moving through a warrior two before sweeping the left arm up and back, peaceful warrior. Cartwheel the hands down and move through that flow, stepping back to a plank pose, lowering half or all the way. I'll meet you in a downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes to sky, building on that. Step it forward between the palms, spin that back heel down, we rise, warrior one. Finding your strength and power here, really feeling an openness in the chest. Sweep the arms back and dive forward, really rooting down through the feet. Arms come all the way up overhead, flying warrior, feet parallel. Heels and toes out, bending through the knees, nice tall spine, goddess pose. Inhale back up to flying warrior and open up warrior two. 
sweep the right palm up and back peaceful warrior extending through the right leg and coming down for triangle pose trikonasana right hand comes to right shin bend through that right knee sweep the arms up and back peaceful warrior cartwheeling the hands back down and moving through your flow again this these movements can be as fast or as slow as you need i will meet you in downward facing dog inhale left leg comes to sky step it forward between the palms right heel spins down we rise warrior one nice tall spine here you might need to take a tiny tiny tuck in your pelvis dive forward devotional warrior legs don't move Inhale all the way up, flying warrior. Heels and toes out. Take a wide squat for goddess. Arms overhead, flying warrior. Adjust through the feet. Move through warrior two to come back to your peaceful warrior, straightening through that right, sorry, left leg and coming down to triangle pose, really sending that left hip crease back, opening up through the chest here. Rebend that left leg, sweep the left arm up and back, peaceful warrior, cartwheel the hands down and we move through our flow. Finding the openness in the chest here wherever we can in every pose. Lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward and step jump or hop to the top of your mat and fold when you arrive. Inhale, we sweep the arms up to chair pose. Hips back, knees forward, weight is in the heels. Really tall spine here. Weight shifts to be in the left foot, really lifting out of that left hip grabbing hold of your right knee with your right hand. Left hand can come to left hip, maybe staying here or maybe grabbing for your right big toe with your two right piece fingers and extending the leg, taking a slight bend in the left leg, breathing here, rebend that right knee and gently set it back to the earth. Adjust through the feet as needed, maybe take a couple wiggles weight comes into the right foot kick the left foot back and catch it with your left arm and when you're ready you can kick that left foot back and that tips you forward for dancer's pose right hand can extend forward maybe you fall just bring yourself back up really rooting down through that right big toe hips are both facing the earth here let the leg go and extend it back warrior three arms can wing back behind you however many steps it takes you to get there step back peaceful warrior bend in the right leg cartwheel the hands down and take your flow that can be challenging with all those balancing poses but we're loving ourselves through it i know you can do it inhale step jump or hop to the top of your mat sweep the arms up to frame the ears and sit back for a chair pose. Maybe you sit a little lower than you did last time. Remembering your breath. Weight is in the right leg, lifting out of the right heel, keeping a nice tall spine, holding onto the left knee with the left palm or reaching down for the left toes with the left, left piece fingers and extending that left leg nice and long. If your spine rounds here, keep with the knee. We want a nice tall spine. Rebend through the knee, let the foot rejoin the earth. Weight is in the left heel, kick the right foot back to hit your butt, grab it with the right arm, and kick the right foot back for dancer's pose. Trying to keep the hips as even as possible here, only leaning so far forward that your body will allow. It's okay that you fall. Extend the leg back, warrior three, keeping the toes pointed to the earth. And when you're ready, send that right foot down gently, peaceful warrior, bending through the left leg generously and moving through your flow or coming right down to your stomach. Once you're down on your stomach, you can come onto your back, feet on the floor, knees facing the sky, tickle the backs of your heels with your fingertips Really feel your whole back on the earth here. Use the arms and the feet to lift your hips up off the earth on an exhale, engaging your core here. Maybe you join your hands underneath your butt here for a deeper opening in the chest, or maybe you leave them where they are. Gently bring the hips back down, rolling through the spine, and knock your knees together and bring your feet as wide as your mat. 
starting to slow down the breath here. Maybe you close your eyes. You could take that again, our bridge pose, or you can press up to full wheel, bringing the hands to frame ears, feet stay exactly where they are. Really bringing the chest forward between the arms, remembering to breathe, making sure your knees aren't coming out too far to the side. Whenever you're ready, you can tuck your chin and slowly, gently roll back down, knocking your knees together once again. When you arrive back to the earth, place one hand on your heart and one hand on your low belly. And if you haven't closed your eyes, maybe this is a good time to do so and start to deepen the breath. If it feels good, you can start to knock your knees to the left and to the right slowly as many times as you wish, giving a little massage to the low back and the hips. And when you're ready, you can let that go. Let the legs go out nice and long and land in Shavasana. So many of our movements today involved an opening in the chest. And not only is that wonderful for our back and our posture and our physical being, but it's just a reminder to reconnect with our hearts, ourselves, reconnecting with the person that you're a thousand percent comfortable with. Whenever you're ready, you can extend the arms overhead. Take a nice, big stretch. Step the feet in. Roll over onto one side and press yourself up to a seat, maybe keeping the eyes closed, staying with yourself. Staying with your breath. Remembering who this practice was for today. Thank you so much for sharing your hearts with me as I share mine with you. Namaste.